Hello everyone, welcome to Level Redesign, my name is Zachary and I am currently remaking Fable in Unreal Engine 5 from the ground up uh, using assets from a Fable anniversary and remaking all the systems and I'll also eventually replace many of the art, so, uh, art assets themselves. Um, as you can see I've already kind of done that with the foliage, but the question of the day is how do I get these assets from Fable Anniversary and get them into Unreal Engine 5? It's quite a few steps and there's a lot of issues that pop up. So let's go ahead and hop over to Steam and I'll show you what I do. Okay, so first you'll need the modding DLC on Steam to do this. You'll notice it has a mostly negative uh, review. <laughs> of 31% approval. Um, that's because the mod editor is really bad. It barely works, has tons of issues, things to work around with. It's a modified version of Unreal Engine 3, but once you download that, you can then launch the editor instead. Yeah, this happens. Half the time um, it will crash and not want to start. But it finally comes to, let me explain the content browser real quick. Every game file you'll need is stored inside a Wellington game. That's the, that's the project name. You open content and there's all these folders here and it's kind of hard to find what you need exactly sometimes uh, but for instance if we want to look at some static meshes and we click on this whole folder there's there's not many here so if we actually open this you'll see there's a bunch of folders and some are kind of slightly gray and some are darker gray the issue though is that most of these don't actually have any of the assets loaded you have to right click fully load give it a minute and then all the assets in that folder actually load in for you to be able to use you don't want to do everything but from here you can actually open up the static mesh itself look at it view its properties um, you can download the fbx by right clicking and hitting download fbx and then download all the stuff sign those by hand in unreal engine which i think is the better thing to do in the long run if you just want levels pretty quick you'll click file open regions and this is every single region in the game um they have some leading titles uh such as uh, bandit camp um, bowerstone is bs uh, dd is demon doors so there's a few leading names um, but we're going to get two regions that i still need for my project that's fresco caves and fresco dome the fresco dome is the ceremony hall so we'll do this first we're doing this level first specifically because there's almost no terrain uh what is this? Okay, so it's inside of a box. I'm guessing it does this to maybe prevent sunlight from getting into the map. I'm not sure. But as you can see, it's in here. And then this is where you would go to the fresco caves. This layer is pretty simple, uh, but there's a few things you have to do. So let's go ahead and click one of the static meshes. You'll see this mesh. I've messed with this before when I was dealing with, um, when I was first prototyping this idea. But you'll, this is split up into several different regions. But you'll right click. Select, select all static mesh actors, and then you'll right click again and edit the properties. The only way to change the LODs in this modifier version of Unreal Engine 3 that I found in editor, and when you export, you need the actual map to be at the highest quality. There's a few settings in here I just max out uh, to a fairly large number to make sure it's always at the highest quality, so we'll start with this one. And then massive LOD distance. Max draw distance. And then we're gonna hit detail mode and go to high. We're gonna check this and check it off again. So the checkerboard means some objects have the call distance volume on and some do not. We want this to be off. So we want every object to be at the highest quality at all times. This does not include lights which is fine or any of the um, dynamic objects. You would have to add the dynamic objects yourself. So normally, a little fun fact, the sort of Aeons is underneath the map here. Um, it is not in this region you have to actually load in the dynamic objects for this region we're going to export all and you're going to go to your folder where you want everything stored all right you're going to hit save and then yes you want to export the materials as images as well they're going to export as bmp files or bump files um, we'll go ahead and do the fresco cage next okay next we're actually in fresco caves um, for here this is actually kind of interesting it's really connected so i may actually make my own cave at some point i think this is all one single object which is interesting if that's the case all right so we'll right click and then we'll hit select and we'll select all mesh actors and then we're going to change these values again all right so again we're going to go to export we're going to select all 
All right, let's make these extra large icons. This is what it looks like. Um, it's just a bunch of textures, and then you have the material, which material will not work. You'll have to make your own. You'll have to bring in materials and assign all these textures again. And then you have the actual OBJ of the level itself. With that, we can close out of here, say selected, and we can go to Unreal. All right, so we're actually gonna change maps, and we're gonna go over to my full Albion map. I'm gonna end up putting all the levels into separate all the regions into separate levels and that will help with loading issues and making sure that the whole map isn't loaded unnecessarily but for now they just go in the full Albion map to figure out exactly how they're supposed to flow together. So we're going to add these levels here. So first I'm going to go to my Fable Anniversary folder. We're going to right click and we're going to add new folder. I'm going to call this Fresco Dome and Fresco Caves. Both of them are pretty small folders and I think I'm actually going to just keep these under one level because the fresco caves there's not that much to it fresco caves will probably have to be loaded the entire time fresco dome is loaded anyways then we're going to import all right so we're going to open up the correct folder we're going to bring in every single object that uh, is compatible which is all the textures and the obj the material will not work build nanite this is something specifically for unreal engine 5 and 5.1 um, basically it replaces lod's uh, i haven't done this when you import it yet so i'm actually just gonna not click it yet and i'll change it to nanite afterwards anyways you're gonna just click import all and all this all the settings in here are currently good except for import rotation um set this to 90. for some reason all the levels are sideways something that should be said is this will take a long time depending on which region you're pulling in i think so far the largest area I pulled in is either the heroes guild or Bowerstone South. I don't remember which one exactly. They both had thousands of assets. Uh, obviously that takes a long time and it will freeze your computer for a little while while you're actually bringing them into the level as well. So it is worth noting that you will get this pop-up sometimes if you import all the objects in one level. Um, just go ahead and say yes to all and just erase, um, overwrite anything that's in that specific folder. It doesn't erase anything like that in other folders. All right, so Fresco Dome is in here, that works great let's go ahead and save all this all right so we got it in here you can click this button to add uh, filters um, so I'm going to select all the static meshes click everything and just drag it into the environment you'll notice it's not in the correct spot the pivot points are always quite a bit off okay so I don't really want this box around it um, I have other ways I can keep the sunlight from getting in so I'm just gonna remove that and then we're gonna select all of our fresco dome objects and for the sake of just being able to see what I'm doing right now, we're going to bring it up here, kind of in the way. So you will notice nothing is textured. Um, that's actually an issue. The materials are on here. Uh, we're going to switch to a texture filter. Right click, asset actions, bulk edit by property, matrix. The issue is the textures actually need to be sRGB textures uh, in order for the material to work. You can make them work by not having them sRGB. Um, but they will, uh, they don't look near as nice. They were definitely made to be sRGB. So this little box here underneath the texture, I'm just gonna check out the true. It's gonna freeze for a moment, depending on how many textures you have. I have 30, so it should be pretty quick. All right, and you'll see it turn to a line. That's because the normal textures cannot be sRGB. They are text. They are normal textures, which doesn't have an sRGB option. That's why it shows the line. All right, so I'm gonna close that. You'll notice they're still gray. Um, we go to our materials right click and we're actually going to reload instead of asset actions and looky there we're already making great progress now for the actual canvases here um, I need to just add images to the environment that have those images on them um, but yeah everything's working great right now uh, sunlight isn't hitting the walls super well yet but we'll be adding light in here Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and create a folder for the fresco objects in this right, folder. All right, so now we can actually just hide the whole folder uh, if we need to. We're gonna grab the lighting from the guild here. Excuse how bright it is, but we're actually just gonna grab this light and this light. We're gonna copy and we're gonna paste. We're going to put these lights in the Fresco Dome folder and then bring them over to that actual environment. And all of a sudden you can start seeing what's happening. 
Bring this up. I need to change the distance on these because that's pretty rough. Okay, so I got some lights kind of going in here a little bit um, to start lighting the environment. Uh, one other thing I need to show you is landscapes. I have no idea why this happens. Now this area, it obviously doesn't matter. You don't even need the landscape here. But in Unreal Engine 5, you need to select a switch over to modeling mode. Now modeling mode is a specific plugin from Unreal you have to install, but it is free with Unreal Engine 5 directly from Epic Games. So don't, there's no issues um, as far as getting access to it. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go to normals. And we need to invert normals because it's facing the completely wrong way. And there we go. And then we stick a grass texture on here if we wanted to, but we're actually gonna end up deleting this. All right, so here's the region without sunlight. So obviously, yes, it needs a bit more light, um, as you can tell. We can actually do that by window, place actors. We'll go with light. We'll bring a point light in here. All right, we're gonna change the radius to 5,000. We're gonna change the intensity to 100. We're gonna match the color of the sunlight in here. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get this, copy this code, click on this light again. And paste that color. Oh yeah. And with this, it looks like I can increase the intensity quite a bit now. Now I am just kind of throwing these around the environment kind of crazy, uh, but they can, they can be updated to fit the environment better, having few that are lower quality and so forth. Now some of you may have noticed the shininess on these textures. There's actually an issue where none of these materials actually have the normal maps or specular maps. Now you can go into each of these and assign them by hand, I actually downloaded a plugin where I can right click auto material setup and I set up to where it will assign them just by the click of a button if they have specific letters at the end of the name. So S is specular, N is normal, R is roughness, things like that. And you can see how the shiny went away. So you'll save this and you'll do this for each material and texture in this area. Look at the difference this made. Now obviously it's still a low quality texture that just needs upscaled or completely redone. But the normal maps have completely changed the way this environment looks. I mean look at the, how this shines now, it actually has, reacts to the divots in the floor. This lighting is why we brought it to Unreal Engine 5. Now let me explain how I'm going to connect these areas. So for the fresco dome, we're going to come in here and I'm going to have you get to the cavern somehow, I think by cutting out the floor and adding uh, a wall to the outside here so you can't see and have you go down turn down and then maybe you turn right here and you're inside the caverns and then you go through the caverns and then you're inside the fresco dome so this is probably pretty close to where it should be maybe a little bit higher I may use some I will be using some loading tricks as well to try and uh, get this to be in the same place as the guild and not require you to have to go so low or waste as much time or anything Okay, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the fresco caves into this level. Okay, so I have fresco caves in here. Um, added some lighting in so you can see the river a little bit better. Um, and all that's good. And I actually connected it to the fresco dome. So you're in here. You can walk through this doorway now and you're in the fresco dome, which is much better uh, lit now. Still a few things to do with lighting. Um, but it's it's pretty close like I want to make all these windows glow a little bit more but yeah so I'm super happy with this uh, the only issue I had that I ran into is a lot of these rocks obviously went into here uh, and so I had to bend those verts out of the way or delete the verts and had to do it in a way to where it didn't cause any of this to disappear there actually is a tiny gap here now from what I did but you'll never be able to see that yeah okay so it's even like completely hidden by a rock anyways it's behind this rock so um, that's fine it doesn't matter something else you'll notice is uh, I do have to fix this connection here a little bit that's super easy something interesting I had to do there's actually two layers of these buildings I didn't want to try to connect them completely I kind of wanted a long hallway to go through here anyways um, 
more so than normal. Uh, but I may pull these back closer together and just so I have some more work to do. My only concern is if they don't match up exactly. It looks like the mesh is literally the same. Um, but it may be it may cause a headache trying to connect these together. So yeah, there's fresco dome and fresco case That's how you bring assets into unreal engine 5. I still need to connect this to the rest of Albion up here uh, These maps are much larger Than I expected like look how large look how tall this is that is uh, Pretty crazy and so I'm gonna need to figure out how I'm gonna connect these well, um, obviously you'll go through here and I don't know if I'm just going to do like a fake teleport trick where you don't realize you get teleported. Um, or if you go downstairs and stairs and stairs, but look how far down you have to go. So what I think I'm going to do, we'll go down, we'll turn a corner, maybe it'll be like a little room in here with another part of a library or something like that. Cool. Some beds. Be kind of a cool space. And you turn another corner and then um, you can enter this area and I would like this the room that I'm gonna have here be the loading point for the fresco dome and the fresco caves but we'll see I have to actually model a bit for that and so I'm gonna get some let's see if I can get some help I don't know we'll see but uh, thank y'all so much for watching if y'all have any questions or uh, anything please let me know this is not I will say this is not gonna work for skeletal meshes and dynamic objects. This is just for the static meshes of the environment, uh, but this will at least get you started. And from here you can place textures, swap out assets, anything like that. But thank y'all so much for watching and y'all take care now.